about uh, how to hook dead baits for pike. Some people were saying you should have it one way, some people were saying you should have it another way. I think personally it's a personal preference to how you think it works best, how you think the bait, bait would be picked up, and it depends how you're fishing and what you're doing with the bait and etc. So this bait here I'm going to be fishing under a float, so I hook it so it sits in the water like that with its head up. Because in my opinion of float fishing, you're sort of trying to imitate a fish that's injured or um, on its way out, shall we say. And you don't see a fish with its head down when it you know when it's when it's on its way out. It's always sort of mid water like that. So I believe by having it hooked so it's suspended in the water with its head facing up is the most natural way. And then that then will go through the water columns like that. Um, and that to me just looks spot on. <laughs> um, again, it's a personal preference and everybody's different. Everybody like to do it differently. Um, this is how I personally like to do it. So it's your choice and uh, as I say, um, you just got to do what you think's right for that moment and how you're presenting the bait. Um, you can change it round by all means, try different ways, but that's just my way and how I like to do it, fishing under the float. So it's suspended once again, like that, going through the water column. Thank you. Ledger. So I, I do this one completely different. I do it the opposite way around. So I have the trace, so the bait is hooked. So as if the fish was taking it, it would take it head first this time. And the reason I do that is because it's going to be lying on the bottom, sort of like that. And then what happens, that pike will come along, look at it, suck it up so it'll go in head first. So it's got a direct straight bite to it, uh, to the hooks, contact with the hooks. So I do that one the opposite way to I do the float. Again, personal preference and just the way I like to do it. Bait of choice for this one is a whiting. Um, Taking the tail off to let a bit of blood out and um, to make the bait a little bit smaller because it was a rather big whiting to be honest. But one of the pleasures of uh, being a sea angler as well is uh, get free pike bait. It's absolutely perfect. So both rods are now out. Um, my right hand rod here is on a float. And at the moment I've put it just at the edge here. You can see the float just there. And uh, I know there's a lily pad bed there. So I just sort of tried on there, hoping that the roots of the lily pads would um, hold some small fish. And then obviously having a dead bait over the top of it um, just makes things a little bit interesting. And hopefully if there's a pike about, we can pick him up. And then on my left hand rod, we got down here, we're fishing that about 50 yards out um, here. It drops off, so it drops off a shelf. You've got a shelf at about three rod lengths out, and then it goes out and then it drops off again. Just where about where that ripple is there, you can see. It drops off again, so I've got it at the back of that drop off there, just fishing a little bit deeper water. So we'll sit back, have a cup of coffee, and uh, hopefully we can get a fish for the footage. That'd be nice. So, if you've been watching this video from the start, you will have noticed I'm bouncing about a lot. A couple of different venues, different places, trying different things, just trying to get some fish. Weather's nice, it's dry, it's fairly windy, a lot of colour in a lot of the lakes and the rivers, um, so it's making it hard work, but uh, we're fishing, enjoying it, and it's country life, it's brilliant, isn't it? It's great. So we'll have a little go on this spot here, before we venture on somewhere. Well then, so I thought I'd have a go See if we get us a, a pike on the lure or even uh, a perch. How about that for a brown trout? Look at that. 
Good, isn't it? I'm happy with that. It's a nice brownie, which we'll put back now straight away. Happy days. Come here. There you get yourself back. Come on, happy dudes. Come on in. There she goes, gone. Happy brownie, happy fishing. Almost went on camera. <laughs> Right, back of the car, just sorting the gear out, ready to go home. Unfortunately, I didn't get a pike today. Uh, I definitely hooked into a pike, good nodding on the rod. Um, I had a small jack pike of about, I don't know, so big, turned at the lure right at the side. Um, it was on a Toby bar actually, right at the side, turned, took it, come off, took it again, come off, and then turned away. Um, but what a brownie, absolutely made up for that I am. Um, absolutely made up. Um, I've had bigger brownies years ago, um, but not since I was a young kid fishing with my dad um, on the fly. Uh, absolute buzzing with that. I don't know if the video will do it justice um, and the picture that I've had. Uh, we'll put it all together. It was a fish of around about £3. Uh, to say that I'm absolutely made up with that, that that's made my day. And um, We've got more adventures on the way. Hope you liked the video. Please um, subscribe, follow it, share it. and. Uh, Let's enjoy these videos together as much as I enjoy making them. Thank you once much and uh, I'm going to pack up now and head home. Uh, get some warm food down me, it's been a long day. Thank you.